And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. This game against Toronto here, it's their first look at the Raptors. And two teams here that were evenly matched a season ago as they split the season series. Now, here's Siakam. Pass to Barnes. All sorts of time. They get the rebound. Boucher's shot is off. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Here's the pass to Watsonabe. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one goes on Ananobi. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Here's Mills. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Thomas is screen on Barnes. 32 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now here's Mills. Not a lot of room. Finney Smith can't get it to go. Toronto's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And here is Siakam. 17 points for him last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Passes to Trent. Here's Ananobi. A three-pointer is right on target. What I like about OG Ananobi for a young player, he's not pushing to do more than they want him to do. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Raptors lead by two. We've got... And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And from what we've seen so far from the Raptors, guys, your thoughts? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. Sharing the wing spots for them. It'll be Trent Jr. and Ananobi. Underneath in the post, Siakam and Boucher. And it's Barnes in at the point guard. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And he's able to get it back. Brooklyn trailing. Now Mills, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Thomas, no good. Barnes outside, and here's Trent outside. And the Raptors miss again. Great perimeter D, gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Outside Curry, launches a three. That one's in, his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Pass to on an open. Driving in, plays it up and banks it in. On an open, he's got five. The youngster, Scotty Barnes, has great vision. Brooklyn's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Shoots from 12. And the shot goes in from Siakam. See, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Now here's Mills, covered by Barnes. Curry outside. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Raptors leading by three. Bobbed up there for Barnes. And Siakam has it in the corner. The basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Barnes has got three assists tonight. And you see players trying to get the officials to blow the whistle. Were players in your day great falling down as much as they seem to be doing that? It's way more common now. Let's face it, it's a copycat lead. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Toronto. They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and their focus. And the other thing, I love how they're playing up tonight, getting into ball handlers and forcing some turnovers. 
Shots good by Siakam. And he's made only about a quarter of their shots in the first. Totally flat, but, but they bounce back and built the lead here with a much better second quarter. Here's the screen to the wing right side. Here's Watanabe. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got six rebounds now in the game. They double-team Siakam. Nobody near Barnes. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Bringing that three-point percentage up quite a bit this quarter. Shooting it well. The lead's going to get a little bit bigger if they can keep this up. Some changes for Toronto. Myrtle comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Trent. And then for Brooklyn, Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Watanabe. O'Neal comes in for Thomas. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Patty Mills. Here's Dinwiddie outside Curry. Shot clock at five. Dinwiddie sets the screen for Curry. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. And the Nets miss again. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Smitty OG Ananobi from the UK has had a nice impact on the game. And he said he wants to grow the game in England. OG's hoping to open up some paths to the NBA for young players from the UK. And Curry has it in the corner. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Curry's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Brooklyn. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. No good from outside. Nets trail by six. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And Spencer Dinwiddie has always been a great scorer, being used off the bench more and more. He has a great game to be a sixth man. Pass to Boucher. Hurdle with a screen on Dinwiddie. A three from Barnes. And again, no good by Toronto. They have a chance to go two for one here. Let's see how they play the clock. Dinwiddie against Pirtle. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. They get a hand on it. Dinwiddie with the steal. Outside for Curry. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Four seconds left. Ananobi, no good. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach. Yeah, thank you, David. The folks don't go away. Welcome. Check. Did you enjoy testing your... And taking a look now at the Brooklyn Nets. They're... Thank you for being with us. Now let's... Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Pascal Siakam, guys, really making a difference here. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Ben Simmons is out there with Mikel Bridges. Then there's Cam Johnson. Then there's Harris. And it's Claxton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Barnes. The future that Scotty Barnes has in this league is bright. A versatile swingman with an outstanding work ethic. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he makes both free throws. And Scotty Barnes, the rookie of the year in 2022 in the NBA. And you could argue he was maybe the biggest surprise of the 21 draft. Made a huge impact on the floor immediately. If you did a redraft of that class, he'd be closer to the top. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Here's 
Simmons. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Since entering the league, Jakob Pertl has vastly improved on defense, developing into an anchor on that end of the floor. Van Vliet wide open. They get it back. Pertl. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And the Raptors lead by five. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Simmons passes to Bridges. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Bridges has got five now. And that pass-first nature of Simmons, outstanding at understanding when his teammates are open. And the pass to Van Fleet. Jacks up a three. Here's Pirtle. Nails the baby hook. Pirtle's got four points in the quarter. At the end of the day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. Bridges a screen on Siakam. Bridges outside. Misses the three. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Siakam finds Van Vliet. Toronto working the ball around now. Barnes can't get it to go. Nets trail by four. The try by Simmons. No good on that one. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. In the corner, it's Harris. And again, it's the Nets missing. Raptors leading by four. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. Back to Barnes. Let's it go from deep. Some solid defense from Harris. Brooklyn's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Plays it up off the glass. Boucher's got his first points of the night. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And catching the defense flat-footed and taking full advantage. Big bucket there to extend the lead. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Inside, here's Pirtle. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Bridges outside. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bridges has got nine. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Toronto. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. It's up a three. Ananobi, good. Ananobi's got his third basket of the night. This is what you already like about OG Ananobi's game. Has a good feel for where to get his shots along the perimeter. Dinwiddie a screen on Pirtle. Dinwiddie outside. And here's Johnson outside. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Johnson's got his first three points of the game. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And an OB against Bridges. Girdle's shot is off. Nets trail by four. Simmons inside, covered by Van Vliet. And the basket by Johnson. And some kind of switch must have been flipped at halftime because both teams are getting after it. 
I would have loved to hear the coach's speech because they really took heed to it. Like you said, both teams playing at a different pace. A 15-footer, no good off the back of the rim. Yeah, but the hand in the face, it's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Raptors lead by one. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. The forwards are Ananobi and Siakam. And it's Pirtle in at the center filling out the middle. That's the five out there for the Raptors. And let's see what the Nets have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Then on Saturday, they'll be facing Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. Throw good, Siakam. From a role player to an elite talent, Pascal Siakam continues to impress with his all-around game. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free-throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs him. Curry, good! The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Toronto trailing. Siakam with it. In the corner, it's Van Vliet from outside the arc. And to the ball out of bounds. Dinwiddie touched it last. It's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. This is where Bridges' wingspan is a factor, allowing him to reach out and get a piece of that shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Siakam. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Simmons, a screen on Van Vliet. Dinwiddie passes to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Always a treat to watch Simmons operate in that screen and roll. His IQ is just simply off the chart. Toronto calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, David. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Trains the three-pointer. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points in chunks. Siakam for three. No good there. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Dinwiddie against Siakam. Dinwiddie passes to Bridges. Just four to shoot. Back to Dinwiddie. Simmons trying to get open. Dinwiddie shot is off. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Tough to contain Siakam around the rim. He has underrated strength. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep, just dropping triple after triple. 
Here's Dinwiddie, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Clearly a foul. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. In both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And he steps up and knocks them down, making it a two-possession game. Toronto calls timeout. They're down by five. A minute 50 left to play in the final quarter. A minute 50 left here in the fourth quarter. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It gives Siakam credit for putting pressure on the defense, forcing them to get aggressive with him. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. Just tremendous shooting from Pirtle. Love how he's not afraid of taking these kinds of shots. Dinwiddie against Van Vliet. Johnson with a screen on Van Vliet. Johnson outside. Back to Dinwiddie. Six to shoot. The feed now to Johnson. Toronto grabs the miss. Siakam's got nine rebounds now tonight. Bertle sets the pick for Siakam. To tie it up. Here's Bertle. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. Jakob Pirtle connecting in the clutch. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for the Brooklyn Nets. Johnson with a screen on Van Vliet. Johnson down low. Covered by Van Vliet. Rebound by the Raptors. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Ananobi kicks to Trent. Here's Siakam. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Here's Bridges. Great D that time from Van Vliet. left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> to take the lead. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. And regulation now complete. These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. The forwards are Barnes and Siakam. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. And it's Pirtle in at the final. Home in the paint. Man, guys, with Simmons, you get it all. The shooting, the rebounding, and the passing. Van Vliet passes to Barnes. Siakam inside. Johnson on him. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And he makes the first. At the line for your record. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Nets with the lead. Outside, Simmons. Bridges for three. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Barnes has got six rebounds here tonight. They double team Siakam. A great one two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Gary Trent Jr., he will remember this moment, and so will we. Johnson outside. 
From deep three-point range, the basket good on the assist from Simmons. Johnson's got six in the quarter. Guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Well, Van Vliet looks determined at the line, set to deliver for his team. First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to one. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Simmons passes to Johnson. He feeds it to Bridges. Yeah, a national champion in college. Bridges has also played in the finals. So Mikel is built for pressure moments like this. That's the first, and that gives them the lead. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. Cool under pressure. Terrific job nailing those two free throws there. Van Vliet outside. Johnson against Siakam. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Three-pointer. There's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. You can count on Pirtle to play with energy. And this time it pays off with the second chance points. Bridges against Van Vliet. Bridges shot. Good. Bridges has got 19 points. Oh, a major factor in those 2021 finals. Bridges growing more and more comfortable in the big moment. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Here's Bridges. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Van Vliet picks one up. Physical play from Bridges under the hoop, making sure to win that foul call. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a two-point ball game. And how about the composure there at the line? A ton of pressure on those free throws, and he knocks them both in. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by two. There's 48 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Trent kicks to Siakam. Van Vliet outside. The steal. And here is Simmons. And they double up Simmons. Johnson, the pass to Simmons. The Nets working the ball around now. It's good from beyond the arc. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Passes it to Siakam. Bridges with the steal. And an intentional foul right there. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Yes, yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there, and that will add to their lead. Siakam for three. It's good. And now they trail by just four. Stepping up in a big way. Siakam proving he's got guts to deliver in the clutch. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. From deep. Tries to save it. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. It's not going to go for him. So it's the Nets picking up the win. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a...